Okay, so tonight was the election, and so now I have, I've had some time to uh, collect my thoughts, um, because uh, I don't want to react very emotionally, cause, because um, later on, if I did, I would regret it. So here, so here are my thoughts, here are my feelings, that, um, <clears throat> here's my reaction, basically. <clears throat> well, obviously Obama won. I mean, because it's all over the news. My <laughs> my Facebook has been inundated with either um, partying or lamentations. And um, most of them are lamentations because of the type of friends that I have. Um, but anyway, I don't, I'm not sure if I should be surprised at the result of it or not, because I don't know if you've uh, watched uh, the videos that I had posted prior to this one, but I was a Ron Paul supporter, and that ran its course, he never really did get nominated, um, but in my personal role in the the election, I voted for Gary Johnson because I wanted my dissenting vote to actually count towards something. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted him to get the five percent so that he could uh, end the two party duopoly, basically. Um, I haven't really checked the results of that, so I don't know at this point uh, whether or not he got that five percent. But hopefully he did. Um, now, <clears throat> when I think of the fallout of these, this election, Romney did not lose. America lost. But the thing is, I think America was bound to lose either way because of the two-party system. Because we still have NDAA, we still have the Patriot Act, we still have a massive debt that will continue whether or not Mitt Romney or Obama um, get into office. Or either, yeah, Obama gets reelected into office. Okay, those, those will still continue with either of them in office. So nothing of substance would have really changed. I think the tone would have, though. Um, but substantially, no. Because Romney would have moved to the middle um, and would have governed the way he governed in Massachusetts. And then we know how Obama governs. Some of us like it, some of us hate it. I'm kind of blasé about it because I'm an independent voter. But, yeah, I think, yeah, America lost. <laughs> and Wall Street, Goldman Sachs, the military-industrial complex, they won. So... Basically, we have 2016 to look forward to, and by then we will have a liberty-minded candidate. I can guarantee you that, um, because I am I am involved in an organization that um, that is big into political education, and they're going to get into more than a million people by the time. Uh, 2016 rolls around and so they're gonna have a pool of voters to basically act as a lever in um, in the event of an, an election so they will have a massive voice a massive role to play within the 2016 election and um, you'll know more about it later on I'm pretty sure you will um, I I will not tell you what it is right now at this point but um, anywho I am 
Yeah, I no, I'm not really surprised by the result of this real this election. I'm not really, um, because I've been following um, following the news, not necessarily on the mainstream TV, but I've been following Facebook. I've been following YouTube. I am subscribed to a lot of libertarian-minded people like Matt Larson, Ten, Alex, <laughs> Alex Jones. Um, but I, I don't really much listen to Alex Jones. I just, um, I just watch some of his posts. Um, let's see, a Reason TV, and a couple of others. Uh, Token Libertarian, um, a Billy Rock and Tom Woods, and of course all the Ron Paul uh, channels. So, I guess, yeah, just the, um, just the thing to get out of this is uh, we, have, we have a lot to look forward to in the next couple of years, because by that time, Ob Obama will not have any other term. So... Just think of the good things that can come out of this, <laughs> if you can, okay? Just, you know, come out of this with a positive mind, and don't, th <laughs> don't think about this as a gloom and doom situation, because I, I have faith in my fellow Americans, and I certainly hope you would too, okay? This is Matt Austin, over and out.